guys and welcome back to another video today is vlogtober day nine i believe i missed a couple days but now we are back on track i am going to be doing a thrift flip diy on a budget project um so today i'm going to be showing you how to take some thrifted items and showing you how to make them a little bit more your style without breaking the bank so i'm only be going to be doing three items today and the only things that you're going to need are some paper to lay the stuff down. This is just some old paper that my girls had. It's just drawn paper. You can use newspaper, whatever you have on hand. The whole point is you don't go out and buy something that is super expensive and, you know, super... You don't want to break the bank with this project. Anywho, I'm going to be painting these mirrors. That I've shown you all before. You guys saw them in my last thrift haul, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up there somewhere. And then I'm going to be painting this one, which I show you guys in my most recent thrift haul. And if you guys haven't seen it, and if it's up, I will link it up there as well. And then um, I have some paint on hand because I I paint from time to time. I make art, um, not well i guess i'm very self-critical about my art but i have some acrylic paint on hand i'm going to be using some black um it's a little bit old but we're gonna gonna work with what we got i didn't want to go out and buy new paint because that would defeat the whole purpose of this little diy project that i'm trying to do it's like you can make something you by just using whatever you have on hand um, you could use chalk paint, you could go to the 99 cent store and pick up some paint. I wouldn't recommend, like, if you're doing something that's going to be out, like, in the sun or maybe, like, outside, maybe buy better quality paint. But for these items, you know, I don't need something super good quality. They're just going to be hanging up on my walls and nobody's really going to disturb them or anything. So, I'm just using what I have. So, it's just acrylic paint in Mars Black, so super excited to get into this video. Just, just do this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy these videos. I would love to do more, and see you guys in tomorrow's Vlogtober video. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in to showing you how I'm gonna paint these items. So I'm gonna lay down that piece of paper, as you guys can see. And I'm just gonna put this down. If you guys have tape or something that you can put onto the mirror part, that would be great, but you don't necessarily need it. And I'm gonna show you a little just a trick. It's not a trick, it's I guess common knowledge by this point. But yeah, I'm gonna just show you guys what I'm gonna do for the sake of this video and so I have like some test paper that I was using for my watercolors and I'm just going to cut a rough, I'm not even using scissors, I'm just going to cut like rip, I guess, a little rough circle that I can try to fit into that little mirror spot. So as you guys can see it's not perfect but it'll do. I'm just gonna go around the edges of the little circle part as you guys can see and I'm just kind of stippling you don't have to be an artist and it doesn't have to be perfect obviously because we're just gonna go over it in black all the way around so just keep that in mind that you don't have to make it perfect so I'm just gonna continue painting and then I'll show you guys the end result <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of doing it very rough, as you guys can see. And it's taken me, like, maybe less than five minutes to get all of this done. So I'm going to continue going, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. Okay, so for, like, the little inside edges, I'm literally just going around ever so gently. 
to try not to get it onto the mirror but obviously not getting any on the mirror would be like a dream but that is not happening at least not for me Um, it's just gonna sit down and dry. I'm gonna let it dry on this. Moving on to this one. Um, it's very similar, so since it's almost the exact same situation, I'm not gonna like go through this one like I did with the other one, but I will show you the finished product once I am done with it. And then we'll move on to our third item. So these are our two mirrors. I'm gonna let them kind of just dry right there on this little piece of paper overnight and it should be good one thing that i do like about acrylic is that it kind of dries at a faster pace and it's also very thick which is a pet peeve but um just know that it's very easy to clean off of certain surfaces so like off of the mirrors if you get it a little bit on there if you're painting a mirror just know that it'll be pretty easy to come off it should come off with just like water and a little bit of scratching and it shouldn't do anything to the mirror um also it's all pretty much done and then i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on the wall so you guys can see it a little bit better also my light is dying because it's becoming evening but those two are done and now we're gonna move on to our little holder so for this one we are gonna be doing the same concept pretty much we have our black paint or whatever color paint you want and then I have my little fan brush that I have here and then I'm just gonna go around the whole area and just kind of paint it very roughly because I'm not too interested in it looking super perfect so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys how this one turns out. late when I started filming and there was no way that I was going to be able to show you guys properly what the products look like at the end so I had to wait to film this part today so that you guys could see it in daylight um so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys so as you can see this is all dry now and I kind of let it dry overnight there are some spots that I need to go back over but other than that it's pretty good i love the way that they look i just like i said i just need to go over them i think with one more coat i did about like two coats last night but i didn't wait for it to dry so now that it's all dry and ready i can see like the spots that need extra attention but other than that i love how they turned out i'm just gonna go over them one more time let them air dry and then i'm gonna probably hang them up on our wall i'm like i said this is gonna go on our doorway I don't know where I'm going to put these yet because I do want one more or two more even just to open up the space and also because I feel like to create balance I need at least three. If you guys enjoyed this short little thrift flip on a budget and I hope it gave you some ideas that you don't need to go all out and spend a lot of money to have some fun decor. All together, like I said, $1.99 for the little hanger thing and then the mirrors were 50 cents about 50 cents each at goodwill and then i had the paint so i didn't have to spend extra money on the paint and like i said you could even just go get some cheap paint from the dollar store it'll be enough to hold up on indoor home decor items that nobody's gonna be playing with so altogether i didn't spend more than like three dollars 
I'm doing that right. 50 cents. That's a dollar. 199. That's two dollars. So three dollars all together for some fun new little home decor pieces. I hope this inspires you to do something fun and maybe have add a little flair to your space. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.